my beautiful little unicorns and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're on my channel, please allow for me to introduce myself to you. My name is Vanessa Semina and I am a tarot reader, author of various tarot and oracle decks, as well as your favorite psychic medium here on YouTube. And in today's psychic pick a card reading video, I am going to help you figure out precisely what's happening in your love life during the month of June. So if this is the first time that you're tuned into a pick a card tarot reading this is how this video works i will introduce you to these four groups that i have prepared for you in just a moment's time and what i'd like you to do is pick one of these four groups completely intuitively so that means go with whichever group that you feel drawn toward and when you think of your romantic life and where you would like for it to go pick whichever group that you feel represents the romantic life of your desire so what that means is that if if you for example find this first group to be very mystical and interesting and that's how you would like your romantic life to be during the month of June pick this group to not only figure out what's coming towards you during the month of June but also how you can live your best life romantically speaking with these specific messages that were meant for you in June you may also for example find that the second deck feels very earthy but at the same time quirky and that is precisely what you're looking for in your love life then of course intuitively pick group two and when you look at group three you may feel as though we've got the color red which is the color of passion as well as a lot of excitement maybe you would like to spice up your love life that's where we're going and if you for example feel as though group four really inspires you and is the perfect match for your love reading then pick this fourth group so that is what i mean when i say pick your group into intuitively and based on the type of love life that you would like to channel and create for yourself because regardless of what you feel your destiny is you are a co-creator of your life believe it or not so before i introduce you to these four groups that i have prepared for you if you received your june horoscopes then you already saw this in my june predictions video but my dark heart tarot deck has now officially launched it comes with a guidebook and the link to this magnificent deck is below in the description box. I will be using this deck throughout your June love predictions. If you'd like to see the cards in action so you can make an informed decision before you purchase this tarot deck, also check out my June horoscopes video. It's linked below in the description box. I use the Dark Heart tarot deck throughout that horoscope video as well. And you can also see me face to face in that video if this is the first time that you're on my channel. And you'd kind of like to see what your psychic actually looks like but now let's get into these four groups group number one corresponds to the dreams of gaia tarot as well as the aqua aura point group number two corresponds to the human spirit oracle as well as the rainbow aura point Group number three corresponds to the Shamanic Medicine Oracle deck, as well as the Clear Quartz point. And group number four corresponds to the Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides Oracle deck, as well as the Howlite point. But the timestamps to all four of these groups can be found below in the description box, as well as pinned to the top of the comment section. So all you need to do is click your timestamp and you'll be fast forwarded to the relevant part of this video. So I will now provide you with a little moment of privacy with my prayer beads. That way you can truly focus and meditate on these four groups in order to pick the right one for you. And then I'll be right back to guide you into your June love readings. All right, all of my beautiful babies of the Zodiac, I hope that by now you've been able to pick a group for yourself. I will be getting into your June love readings, starting off with group number one, which corresponds to the Dreams of Gaia tarot deck, as well as the Aqua Aura Crystal Point. So if this is the group that you chose, then please continue watching. And to all my other beautiful groups, I will catch you at the click of your timestamp. 
Hello, group number one, and welcome to your June 2023 Love Life reading. Now, you chose the Dreams of Gaia deck as well as the Aqua Aura Crystal Point, which is an excellent choice. Let's first do a close up of the crystal of your choice. Also, a message I am immediately receiving and hearing is the number 222 for you, group number one. So, that is the number of moving in the right direction when it comes to your love life during the month of June. When you see this number on the clock on a license plate, maybe as you're checking out, purchasing something online or in store, and it ends in 222, do know here that this is a symbol for you to move forward, that you're on the right track. Now, I will also leave the link to this Aqua Aura point below in the description box, because if you feel especially drawn to this crystal and you'd like to add it to your crystal collection or start your crystal collection with this stone, this is one of the beautiful crystals from my store and they ship worldwide so feel free to check them out below in the description box or just enjoy the energy here during your june love reading so let's get into it see what the month of june has in store for your love life so we already have a card that popped right out of the pile which is the queen of earth a message that i'm intuitively receiving is pregnancy here is fertility now that doesn't necessarily mean you group number one so just relax take a deep breath if that is something that you're looking to avoid don't panic pregnancy fertility that could mean that there is a very fertile ground available for you to even plant the seeds when it comes to a new business venture or a new relationship or romantic one but it can, of course, also mean to look out for the fact that fertility is high surrounding you and that could also affect you. But of course, this could also just have to do with someone very close to you who is as fertile as ever and who may be trying to conceive and even successfully do so during the month of June. Next up, we've got the King of Air. Now, I want you to know here that we've got this personality mix. For one, we have a very grounded motherly figure in the Queen of Earth. Then in the King of Air, we have someone who is charismatic, who's logical, who has authoritative, very strong masculine energy. And I want you to know that for the month of June, this shows that there is a very polarizing, sensual tension surrounding your love life. So this means opposites attracting one another. This means you having the opportunity to be with someone, romantically speaking, who is the complete opposite of you, but nevertheless, that is what excites you the most. For example, if you're a rather petite individual, that they are very tall, very big, very masculine, if you see yourself as rather feminine, and vice versa, if you have a lot of masculine energy, you may appreciate someone who brings some calm, loving, nurturing femininity to the table at times. So this is what I mean with a polarizing relationship. I'll just put your crystal over here because I just find that aesthetically a little more pleasing. Comb through our little prayer bead necklace here. So this is the type of energy that I'm speaking of for the month of June for you. Now in the 10 of earth, I want you to know that this is going to completely fulfill you. You are meant to be in a relationship where there are polar opposite forces. Polar opposites, for example, exist in very traditional conventional relationships, like where someone identifies as male and the other person identifies as female but I also mean strong opposites as in you for example working in the creative industry and the person whom you're with working in an industry that is very rigid very traditional and quite the opposite of creative so for example someone who is a painter an artist a musician with an individual who is a lawyer a mathematician or a police officer that's what I can see here as a polarizing kind of energy that's surrounding your love life during the month of June. Now, in the eight of fire, it becomes clear that that is what sparks passion. 
you understand that opposites not only attract one another but it kind of keeps things very spicy and the month of june is definitely one where you're exploring your sensuality where you're having fun sensually speaking and you're also very intrigued by everything that is just not you you've had enough of yourself group number one you want to now kind of delve into some new practices that you have yet to tap into i also just want to figure out what kind of dreams that you're having during the month of june so we've got the weather and natural events so within your dreams there will be some sort of stormy weather lightning maybe even a natural disasters you can see some open fields and of course this lighthouse which often indicates that there is a storm coming there is some unusually kind of stormy harsh weather condition that lies ahead so i do see here that this may also quite literally affect you during the month of june and affect your love life and the amount of time that you're spending indoors in a private space which is why you have time for a lot of these steamy things that are happening because you're not in public and of course it's way more tempting and probable to be intimate if you actually have some privacy. Next up, we've got the house and buildings. Now, when it comes to your dreams, I can see that you will be dreaming of being inside a house and looking out and then kind of seeing the stormy weather so it's like you're looking at what's happening from the inside you're in a safe place you are dry you are untouched so you're not having nightmares quite the opposite you're observing something and oh okay i do want you guys to know that i will slightly censor myself here as we are on youtube so there is a lot of intimacy going on you are kind of going to be dreaming of some steamy times steamy nights and also experiencing those quite literally june is a month of living your best life romantically speaking not feeling ashamed and just overall experiencing intimacy and you've been craving this for a long time group number one such an experience if you continuously have thought to yourself that your love life could maybe kind of use a little bit of extra spiciness or if there are a lot of things that you just haven't tried yet june will open some new doors and the ten of blades shows me that it will completely change the way that you see your romantic life and that you see being intimate with another person so things will never be the same after the month of june because it is just such a mind blowing month in a good way when it comes to your romantic experiences next up within the six of cups within the dark heart tarot deck that we're now using by the way i want you to know that you are building emotionally speaking you are in a state where you and another individual are creating more comfort more security more understanding love as well as support with one another throughout the month of june and it is just overall a time of creating relationships for you creating them by not just being intimate in a physical manner but also being intimate emotionally speaking sharing your thoughts your feelings and your fears as the five of blades does represent that what will resurface is some past fears and hurts that you have taken along with you from previous relationships now in previous relationships i can see within the six of cups and the five of blades you wanted to build you wanted to create something from the ground up but you didn't have a partner who wanted the same thing maybe they said that they wanted the same thing but they didn't actually act on it they were a talker not a doer now the five of blades and the six of cups definitely shows that that has left certain marks and scars on your hearts group number one and i totally feel you i totally get that i too have experienced that where someone is just constantly talking and saying that they love you care for you want to build with you want to do all of these things but then behind your back they are knowingly even doing things that will never allow you to build will never allow you to trust or to create anything that has a future and this is definitely something that is not easy to stomach so don't be hard on yourself for how long it takes you to process this 
or what your process looks like. You may at the beginning feel numb and then kind of start to realize that actually this is something that you're slowly processing day by day and that has maybe caused a little bit of trust issues or for you to move forward a little slower than you would if you hadn't had such negative experiences. But the whole moral of the story here within June is to go easy on yourself and to know that people do exist that will genuinely want to create something with you who are sincere, but you've got to find them. Next up within the nine of blades, I can definitely see here that your muscles are a little bit on the tense side when you hear that you've got to find them because you're tired of looking, you're tired of kind of feeling as though you have to find the right person blindly without truly knowing but spirit and your guides are here for you group number one never forget that and know that it's okay to just be tired i see that in the ten of blades and the nine of blades you're exhausted, you're tired, you're done with playing games. You also feel like you are now at a time in your life, in a cycle of your existence where you simply don't even have the capacity anymore to be heard, to be in a cycle of uncertainty, to not know what's going on. These are all things that kind of scream immaturity, that scream a life that you don't want to live and a relationship that you don't want to deal with and it is completely okay to also feel in a way a little bit upset or even kind of disappointed with this day and age and the dating customs and how as soon as things don't work out people move on to the next best because they feel like the grass is always greener on the other side or like there is the next best thing meanwhile the grass is greener where you water it and the next best thing is actually going to just in the end be the same as it was with you because they keep hitting the same roadblocks and bumps in the road because they never truly work through them or deal with them i see with the ambon damselfish that a message that you are meant to receive group number one is not only that we've got the number 12 as a meaningful number to not be afraid to use your voice so especially during 12 a.m 12 p.m don't be afraid to send that text to use your voice and say how you felt throughout the day throughout the morning know that your opinion matters and it's never too early or too late to speak to the right person the right person will want to know what you're going through and what you're feeling no matter the time of the day no matter how long or short your text may be they will never feel make you feel unheard and they will never feel like you are disturbing them and that's already something to bear in mind if you are seeing someone or you're in a situationship and you feel as though you shouldn't text the person because they may be in a meeting you may disturb them they may be annoyed by you that is like a little red flag not one that cannot be dealt with but it is a bit of a red flag for you to just be aware of the fact that if you already feel that way you need to see whether this person is giving you a reason to feel that way and if for example your bond could be strengthened and you could feel more secure in your attachment to that person by speaking to them about the fact that hey i don't want to text you sometime because i don't want to annoy you i don't want you to feel like i'm constantly reaching out let me know if it's too much or if you actually do like to receive a lot of texts or calls from me just so that i kind of know where you stand that's what the ambon damselfish is urging you to do during the month of june because in a way it is so wild to think that in some situations we've maybe already been intimate with another person and that was fine that we felt comfortable with but actually speaking our mind sharing our emotions how we feel or kind of calling them texting them whenever we want whatever we want that's that's too much that's too intimate there we fear rejection isn't it so wild the day and age that we live in when it comes to these things i want you to know here in the koi that got this message from spirit immediately it's kind of speaking to us directly and one message that i'm hearing is hey don't take things too seriously don't take all of these little things that we're laughing about that we're discussing so seriously that it takes away the fun or that it takes away the excitement the wonderment when it comes to love 
and romance. Know here within the koi that the more you simply allow things to flow and you are accepting of the ups and downs and the in-betweens, the more you will be able to enjoy and find the right person too. That's what the Orca pod stands for. The right person is the person who you click with and who also clicks with your pod, right? Your friend group, your family. A type of person with whom teamwork is possible because teamwork makes the dream work. Work with others to accomplish greatness. You need a team player, group number one. If you are seeing someone, if you are dating casually or in a situationship and you haven't officialized it yet, do not officialize anything with someone who is not a team player. Know that if they have a bad relationship with their family, it doesn't necessarily reflect negatively on them. But the thing is, you are simply better off with someone who has a good relationship with their family because you are a team player. You are the type of person who can take a family setting and create an empire. So it would be, of course, more beneficial for you to be with someone who can help build a family and strengthen that and already has a good relationship with their family. But do know here within the Siamese fighting fish that nevertheless, you are also the person to rebuild bridges. If the person you're with has burnt bridges with their family and their loved ones, you can help them rebuild and recreate. But the thing here in the Siamese fighting fish is that sometimes you can get so involved in other people's distress issues and challenges that you solve them all by yourself without that person who actually created it or whom it actually concerns even being involved it's like they're sitting on the sidelines while you're in the trenches you're solving you've got your your sleeves rolled up and you're working on it you're sweating and i want you to know here within the siamese fighting fish sometimes it really just isn't your battle to fight and it's really neat and great with you that you are able to change other people's lives and existence, but it's important that you preserve your energy and strength for your own things because you are really the type of person who will solve everybody else's problems. Meanwhile, you still have your problems waiting for you when you get home or you get to work. Next up, we've got the best case scenario. Now, group one, know here that the month of June brings the best case scenario for your love life. We've also got master number 33. The numbers 222 as well as 33, those are master and angel numbers that you will be seeing during the month of June that are pushing you in the right direction when it comes to love. Don't worry about where your love life is going for the month of June because your love life is heading in a favorable direction for you where you will also be protected from any kind of stormy conditions. Any storms or difficult weather, you will just be experiencing within dreams not in reality next up within there is always a way remind yourself that the right person will always find a way to be with you and we had your tribe your vibe these are two cards that just pop themselves upside down well right side up as i was shuffling in case you didn't see so we'll of course read them so in there is always a way as already mentioned the right person will find a way to be with you no matter how difficult no matter how tough the going gets that's one thing. Then next up here within your tribe, your vibe, I want you to know that furthermore, love is also about finding someone who integrates well into your existing surroundings and into your community. That doesn't mean that they have to be perfect or that they can't be different, quirky, or eclectic. However, they need to be a little flexible. They need to be able to speak with anybody. They need to have a little bit of social skills and be outgoing, especially if you identify more as an introvert, group one. You definitely need someone who can speak to anyone who is a little bit more of the extrovert and who can tell it like it is, a protector, a provider. And tell it like it is, I want you to know here that the month of June is a month of not only being outspoken from your side, but that also allows you to be with someone who respects another person who says what they want and they desire. We already spoke about the Amazon damselfish and how you shouldn't be afraid to use your voice. And the universe is reiterating this now from the Wild Muse Oracle deck to just tell the stories as they are. Speak about your experiences the way that you truly experience them without feeling as though someone else's judgment has an effect on the validity of your story or your emotions because 
it simply doesn't. There are also a lot of people out here who are narcissists who should not be in a romantic relationship with anyone because they will destroy anybody who they're with mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And those people are often very much seen or they reveal themselves when you tell it like it is and when you speak up for yourself. So always do that because a healthy partner who is right for you and whom you can really build with will always want to know how you're feeling. And even if they have explosive energy, even if they are an emotional person, they will calm down and find a center, an equilibrium where they can speak to you about your emotions and work with you on creating a joint future. Now, group one, this is the reading that I've received for you for your love life for the month of June. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a lightning bolt emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you chose group number Number one, that you were part of group one and that you watched your reading all the way to the end. Of course, don't forget to check out the Dark Heart Tarot deck that has just launched and been released. It is officially in stock now and it's linked in the description box too. And the deck, of course, comes with the guidebook which I have written so you don't have to be an expert in tarot to be able to use these cards. They are completely accessible to anyone. So all of my beautiful souls of group one, thank you so much for being here and for spending this divine time and space with me. I'm sending you so much love, lots of hugs, and I can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings. Hello all of my beautiful souls of group number two. Welcome to your June 2023 love predictions. You chose the human spirit oracle in connectivity to the rainbow angel aura point. This is the beautiful rainbow angel aura crystal. It is absolutely stunning and an amazing choice that invigorates your energy for the month of June. I'll just put your crystal right up here so we can get into your reading. A message that I'm immediately receiving is flowers, okay? The month of June has some sort of meaning in which flowers are going to be a symbol for you that are important. And oh, right off the bat, we've received Midas Touch and the Master Number 11 with as already mentioned, the flowers. So your guides and spirit is really here with us. It is no coincidence that I got the message of flowers and then the card that pops right out of the pile that comes for you is a card that is filled with flowers in this beautiful headpiece of the Midas Touch. Now what this card means is that the month of June is going to be a very favorable month for your love life. That's what the Midas Touch is all about. It's like everything you touch turns to gold it works out for you in the master number 11 we've got a number of initiation of new beginnings of starting something that you haven't tried before so this could be starting a new relationship if you're single it could also mean starting some new exciting romantic and sensual adventures with an existing partner but I definitely just want you to know overall here that the month of June is already a very favorable one for you when it comes to your love life as the first card in your tarot reading is often the strongest one. So I'm just going to put our little prayer beads over here, rearrange your crystal so that you can see everything as accurately as possible, group two. Next up, we've got support systems. So know here that the month of June brings a lot of support from friends and family and people who just get you and understand you. I want you to know here in support system, your love life is very supportive of your life's choices and you're going to find that whoever you're with is actually helping you to accomplish your goals and dreams. This is especially nice to see if you've in previous relationships and situationships been with people who kind of only cared about themselves but now the month of June is a turning point where things are looking up, where things are looking more favorable than ever and when there's also blooming, blossoming and growth like we've got in the symbol of the flower and here with these butterfly wings, this is symbolic of transformation, of going from a caterpillar to a butterfly, of learning so many new skills and also becoming the highest, most beautiful version of yourself. Next up, we've got I'm Golden. I mean, our guides are really here, group number two. I don't even know 
how to put this in words. We were talking about you becoming the highest, most beautiful version of yourself just now. Now we received the number eight and I'm golden. So it's very clear that the month of June is an abundant one in love, but also in self-confidence. You're realizing that you can be your own beauty standard. You don't have to look to Instagram magazines, the TV, reality TV, for example, or your Facebook feed to see what beauty is. You can simply look in the mirror and look at yourself in a way of saying, wow, I am really a gorgeous human being inside and out, and I truly deserve to be celebrated in all of my perfections and imperfections. And group two, I don't even want you to start saying to me that you don't have any perfections because we all have things that make us perfect just the way we are, whether that is your beautiful freckles, your curly hair, your body that is just shaped in a way that is absolutely stunning. And whether you see it or not, I want you to know that many others do, especially during the month of June. Next up here within All Aboard, I want you to know the month of June brings this kind of go-getter energy. So you are definitely enthused to do a lot of new activities that you haven't done before that are completely fresh to you, especially anything that has to do with love. So for example, trying out new dating apps, meeting someone new, trying something that you've never tried before with an existing partner and in an existing relationship. And you are kind of very convincing to others during the month of June. So anything that you say, they're all aboard, they're with it, they're gonna try it and nobody's really going to question you or your motives. So be very aware of this and remind yourself that with a lot of power also comes a lot of responsibility. Next up, we've got any way the wind blows. So I want you to know here in the number one, which is showing up again, because this number one somehow for you, the number 11, one, 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 these angel numbers are important for you during the month of June. They are meaningful. So note that as you kind of, so keep that in mind as you will be noticing a lot of number synchronicities with the number one. So in any way the wind blows, know here that any way that the wind does blow during the month of June you will figure it out. you will be triumphant you will find a way to thrive and to enjoy this month and also if you would like a bit more of a detailed reading about other areas of your life than just love know that I have published June horoscopes which are based on your zodiac sign and you also get to pick another card within that prediction it's linked in the description box that video so Feel free to check it out at your convenience. Next up, we've got your creativity. So I want you to know here that the month of June is actually going to bring you together with someone who is very creative. They are a musician, a dancer, someone who is just overall a very eccentric personality and someone who likes to make new things. They like to create new things from nothing. This is the type of individual that you are attracting into your life romantically during the month of June. And I see that you don't mind, you have no issue with this. Whether you are single or in a committed relationship, you're definitely in a place where you know, okay, having a creative person by my side, it can be fun, it can be an amazing ride. And it is definitely a month of not feeling so much attachment romantically that you develop this fear or anxiety of being left or a relationship breaking up. You know that if it's meant to be, it will continue to float, you will continue to explore. Otherwise, you have this willingness to, to just let the ship sink. But let's move further into your reading. I do want to just quickly point out again, in any way that the wind blows, we've got, again, these flower petals. 
this floral kind of adornment and we've got the number one we already had this with the number 11 and the Midas touch all of these beautiful flowers so definitely note that your guides and spirit is with us and is bringing you this strong strong message about the flowers next up we've got healing so aside from your symbol for the month of June being the flowers. Know here within healing that you're healing yourself and becoming a healing force for others. Physical healing can happen once your wounds have been confronted. So being very honest with yourself, if there are some sort of wounds that need to be healed, romantically speaking, if you have been treated poorly in the past or you've got some sort of trauma surrounding intimacy, this can be emotional intimacy or physical intimacy, especially if you have had any issues with your reproductive organs or at one point in your life you had an, an encounter where you were physical with someone even though you were not sure or maybe you even didn't want to and you've just overall have had some traumatic experiences when it comes to what should be love and affection and a safe space june definitely brings you some waves of healing and rather than feeling like this is a healing journey that is very difficult and heavy this is actually a journey in which you are upping your self-confidence remind yourself that and i'm golden and you're reminding yourself that no matter what has happened to you that does not define your value as a human being you define your value and you are placing your value at the absolute highest number and you're adding tax to that my gorgeous souls of group two next up in the five of water i do want you to know that the month of june brings a lot of competitive energy around you and that can sometimes make you ask yourself who is really here for you and who just simply wants to be around you because of your amazing energy or because of what you can do for them now group two you may think to yourself or say to yourself right now vanessa there's nothing i can do for anyone why would anyone want to be around me just to see what they can gain or benefit from me well group two this is exactly what the month of june is about to become very clear and real with yourself about the fact that you have a lot of very valuable qualities and parts of your existence that other people would like to be closer to even if you don't see it and you don't realize it there are definitely some people who want to get to know you for either your body for your career for what it is the background that you come from culturally maybe financially even and this is something that some people find interesting and are definitely going to compete to get closer to and that's where you're going to be discerning who's a real friend and who is just here in order to see what they can gain because there are just people who go from friendship to friendship from relationship to relationship just to take and i want you to know here in the sense of shawl that something is being awakened in you where you can immediately see and spy out the takers you can immediately feel it your intuition is on a complete high and you can immediately weed out the takers because one thing about givers is that they have to protect themselves from the takers group number two because takers often or mostly don't know when to stop taking so it is really the givers responsibility to say no to draw lines and to set healthy boundaries next up we've got the six of water which shows contentment which shows inner peace for the month of june and i want you to know here that also some sort of piece of jewelry some sort of bracelet with an arm locket is what you will be receiving or wearing during the month of june if you don't own a bracelet with a heart charm like we see depicted here just yet know that you're going to be receiving this in the very near future 
from someone who loves you okay a loved one after all this is a love prediction so this is a symbol of their love gift giving is part of their love language and i do see here in the ten of water that there will be just this ultimate sense of fulfillment and feeling like you are in a place with your love life where you're content and it may continue like this and you're fine the ten of water definitely shows here that there's nothing that you're missing from other people quite the opposite you are in a position where you're ready to give more so you may even feel this strange sensation of wanting to take the next step of for example starting a family for example moving forward in starting a new business with someone with whom you're in a relationship with because you just know that you have space and capacity for more and this is a time in your life for building not rest next we've got the king of crystals which does show me a fire sign who is tall who is very good looking who has authoritative wise energy this fire sign is a leo sagittarius or an aries and i definitely want you to know here that they are the type of person that you are going to be spending a lot of time with and think to yourself that you really hit the jackpot with this person romantically speaking or even in a platonic way if this is just someone that you want to be friends with now the five of crystals shows here that you've got your energy going in lots of different directions during the month of june but in the end there's always this kind of line that you're drawing or that you're keeping that moves towards your goals and aspirations so no matter how many things you've got going on you always have this kind of focal point this kind of equilibrium if you will the center that you're following this inner calling and having this type of focus and this kind of direction is really serving you and making sure that you actually get to your goals now the nine of crystals does show me that after the month of june you will need to take rest so while the month of june is a month of doing you will have used up some of your energy and you may put yourself at risk for injury if you continue to go at the same pace as you're going in june moving forward so it will definitely be time for you to take some steps back and to rest after the month of june in order to avoid any type of burnout or any type of injury just think about it if you're very tired and you're still driving or just doing day-to-day -day things you risk maybe tripping maybe you know driving into something scratching your car you get what i'm saying so make sure that you know when to exert and use your energy and when to preserve and recharge so my beautiful souls of group two this is the reading that i've received for you and i hope that you've enjoyed it and found it insightful leave a little flower emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you watched your reading all the way to the end and that you are in fact a group number two baby. Know that I'm sending you so, so much love group number two. Don't forget to check out my Dark Heart Tarot deck. It is linked below in the description box. This newly released gorgeous deck ships worldwide and it of course comes with a guidebook so you don't have to be a tarot reader or tarot expert. This is a great first deck or beginner's deck as well. So my beautiful souls of group two, I'm sending you hugs and unlimited love and I can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings. Hello all of my beautiful souls of group number three and welcome to your June 2023 Love Life readings. Now you chose the gorgeous Shamanic Medicine Oracle deck in connectivity to the Clear Quartz Crystal in order to help guide you when it comes to your love life for the month of June. This is the beautiful Clear Quartz Crystal. You may have chosen it because, well, it is very aesthetic, but maybe also because you just intuitively knew that this is a crystal that clearly and cleanses out negativity and any unwanted energies from your space that are simply taking up valuable time and space that you don't want to give out into the nothingness. So one thing that I'm immediately hearing and receiving is the fact that there will be a lot of pointy stones that are meaningful during the month of June. So it could be jewelry like 
point jewelry, crystal point jewelry, pointy stones as in actually seeing something like this sacred site or visiting a sacred site like this during the month of June. And I see that what this will really ignite in you is finding and understanding your purpose in a relationship during the month of June. You may be the nurturer, so that means naturally being a motherly or fatherly type of figure and really blossoming in your role as a parent at some point or currently. It could also mean that you are, for example, the teacher. You are meant to be the person in the relationship that is constantly bringing new ideas, fresh energy, and adventure into the connection. So your purpose is being discovered in June, and it's giving you so much clarity, just as the clear quartz brings you as well. Clarity is kind of your motive and your purpose when it comes to love during the month of June, finding your clarity and then living it. Now in the medicine shield, I want you to know that you are divine protected during the month of June when it comes to love so no players no bad vibes in existing relationships are going to be able to get to you or get to your head as we've got this medicine shield going for you which definitely shows that you are simply focused on yourself and the things that you are feeling and experiencing rather than being involved in any unnecessary romantic dramas. Now, air shows me a lot of creativity and also that there is much going on surrounding you. So this creativity allows for you to feel as though there is just overall a lot of different ways in which you can express yourself romantically. You may use your creativity in order to kind of do cute little things for the ones you love, such as writing them handwritten notes and letters, maybe taking photos of yourself and them, really beautiful ones with a nice camera, editing them, creating a photo album, cooking for your loved ones, trying new creative recipes, just overall expressing love through your creativity and through making something from scratch is what I can see here for the month of June for you. And it will be very well received. This is something that people really enjoy and that makes your loved ones feel special. Next up here within the Six of Cups, I want you to know that family is everything for the month of June. Maybe you're celebrating celebrating a family member's birthday or even your own during the month of June. I see that the number six is an important one for you. It shows not only strong family ties and kind of in a way a very grateful mindset that you've got going on for the month of June, but it is also a number that shows that prosperity is coming towards you. And so is the number eight. The number eight is actually a very lucky number. Here in the eight of pentacles, your financial as well as professional life will continue to thrive under these circumstances that you've got going on in your love life because your love life is favorable during the month of June. It is just in a place where you can kill it in every other area of your life. Next up, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, which further confirms growth when it comes to the earthly realms. And the earthly realms means everything that concerns your health, your time, your financial security and safety, but definitely also be aware of the fact that some people will notice this and some people may try to see if there's any way that they can come between or any way that they can also benefit from this energy that you've got going that is an energy of luck and of prosperity so beware of fake friends or people who are trying to stir up drama where there's no drama like very nosy friends and family members are kind of always giving you unsolicited advice about what to do romantically speaking meanwhile they themselves are not in a successful relationship or aren't really one to give advice that's what you're being called to be very weary and aware of to be careful of as we've got here within the ocellaris clownfish your guides are here within our reading as they're telling you to protect your home 
take care of your sacred spaces. And in this instance, it means protect your relationships and the privacy of it. Don't share too much. Even if you're going through some drama, some disagreement, an argument, a fight with a romantic partner or someone you're in a situationship with, protect that by not sharing with too many individuals. Don't allow for your relationship to be everyone's business do not make your struggles private property to the point where everybody feels like they can give their two cents when it comes to what you should do and i want you to also understand here that the more you kind of just allow for things to happen the more you will receive what you desire if you allow a relationship that is rocky to just play out to let the ship sink then actually you are simply attracting what you desire because that relationship will eventually end and you will attract a relationship that actually works effortlessly because when you're just leaning back, being yourself, you're not chasing anybody, but you're just seeing who sticks around, that's when you know who your real friends are, that's when you know who the real romantic partners are that are meant to be with you long term. So here within the psychedelic frogfish, know that you're doing some conscious filtering you're being very kind of aware of what type of language you're consuming what kind of energies and frequencies of love that are being brought in if you are seeing someone or in a relationship with someone who doesn't make you feel beautiful cherished worthy and desirable you're really going to ask yourself do i have to consume this do i really need this or can i do better do i need to stop chasing this which is kind of beneath my value beneath what i truly want for myself i can definitely see a lot of skepticism when it comes to looking at other people and then that skepticism turns into what we've got here in the ambon damselfish you not being afraid to use your voice to say hey in my opinion you're not really treating me the way that I need in order to feel fulfilled in this relationship or situationship and I'm not going to chase you to do so I'm not going to force you I'm not going to beg or ask for it either it's going to happen or it's not but I will attract a person and a lover into my life that truly values me to the degree that I know that I should be valued. I see here within the fighting spirit that your guides are trying to tell you not to give up on that type of relationship where you are so valued and cherished to the degree that you have absolutely no second thought about whether you are in the right relationship for you to where you just know this is my person, this is my relationship, this is what is 100% honoring me. Here within multiple streams, I want you to know that until then, date around, look around, shop around, keep your options open, especially if you are single, my beautiful souls of group three. Do not settle until you have that ring on your finger. Do not settle until you have a real commitment from the person who you're dealing with and seeing because it is also up to them whether you solidify and officialize the relationship and if they're not taking some real steps towards that you keep your options open as well you don't put all your eggs in one basket because they aren't doing so either so this is about reciprocal relationships during the month of june and know that your symbol to look out for as mentioned one thing that i immediately got from your guides was the pointy stones was the crystal points the stone points so look out for that when you're looking for direction wear crystal point jewelry for your protection and to help guide you so my beautiful souls of group number three this is the reading that i've received for you i hope that you found it insightful and i hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a little money bag emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here that you received your reading and that you belong to group number three furthermore the link to my newly released dark heart tarot deck is below in the description box 
feel free to check it out. It ships worldwide and it is definitely a great beginner's deck as well as it comes with a guidebook which I have written and is very easy for you to understand and get into tarot with. But if you're a seasoned tarot reader, then you will find this deck exceedingly simple to work with, easy to shuffle, and you will find that its energy and the details are truly unmatched in this deck. So group three, once again, I'd like to thank you for spending this divine time and space with me, and I can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings. Hello, all my beautiful souls of group number four. Welcome to your June 2023 love readings. Now you chose the messages from your animal spirit guides oracle cards in connectivity to the Howlite crystal, which I will show you a quick close up of right here. So this is the beautiful Howlite that you chose. You may have loved its marble-esque appearance and aesthetic group four, but maybe you also intuitively felt drawn to this crystal because you knew it was a very calming healing cleansing type of stone which you may need right now maybe you just need a full refresh and reset of your love life but let's get into your reading to figure out precisely what's happening in your love life and how to deal and heal so the energy that i'm getting here is very fuzzy furry feathery the energy of an animal that resonates with that. So let's see what we've got for you, group number four. Ooh, we've got the dog. Now the dog is kind of like the main fuzzy animal example, I would say, alongside with the cat. This shows that you are going to have a very loyal connections during the month of June, even if those loyalties are tested. The dog is representative of the fact that you are able to kind of place your loyalty in many different places but it's best for you to serve just a few friendships and relationships rather than too many so if you've got a roster if you're dating around know that it's time to settle down it's time to kind of choose the best option for you and to serve one relationship rather than wear yourself out trying to entertain too many connections and the same goes for platonic relationships and friendships remind yourself here that it's all about quality not quantity next up we've got the zebra as well as the hawaiian owl for you now first up here within the zebra you're being called to let go of your fear and know that you're safe and protected at all times if you've been worrying or wondering about being protected and safe for your love life do you know here within the zebra that you are kept safe by your ancestors as well as your animal spirit guides now here the hawaiian owl brings this energy of your ancestral spirit guides offering you divine guidance now so pay close attention to signs and omens from them a sign is definitely the symbol of the dog as well as feathers that are grayish or white all of my beautiful souls of group number four pay attention to those symbols during the month of June to allow you to know that you are protected, you're guided, and you are with the right individuals. You are meant to be in June connecting with someone who maybe even owns a dog, who cares for a dog, who has a dog tattoo or charm somewhere, and who is very fond of them in general. I see that this is your sign and symbol, as well as, as mentioned, the white and gray feathers that will also give you the symbol that you're moving in the right direction it's a sign for you to know this is this is the right person to be with next up we've got make a wish now group four know here that the month of june brings the option for you to not only make wishes but for past ones to come true maybe in the past you've always wanted to move in with someone you've always wanted someone with whom you can adopt a dog with or who is very dog friendly so i want you to know here that that is something that is coming true sooner rather than later but of course these wishes may also have to do with just feeling safe feeling protected feeling secure in a relationship a romantic one and i can see here within hit your target that the month of June is definitely going to make you feel like you're not sure whether you have hit the target, but once the loyalties are tested and 
you are receiving the confirmation, so loyalty being tested as in you've got someone in a situation where they could easily lie or betray you or do something without you ever finding out, or at least so it seems. That's what the situation looks like from the outside. And you, however, do have like a little spy cam, a little spy view for whatever reason. You can see what they're doing. So it could be, for example, that a friend of yours is texting or is attempting to get into the DMs of a guy or a girl that you're seeing. And then what they actually do is they show a lot of loyalty towards you. They either ignore it or they just say, no, I'm seeing someone. I've already got someone special within my life. That could either be you being in a relationship or situationship and they are proving their loyalty to you. Not that you're setting them up, but it's just happening in a way where you are being shown that they really are loyal to you and then you know that you have hit your target that you are in a situationship or relationship where it is reciprocal okay the loyalty goes both ways and you know that you don't have to worry about them whatsoever you don't have to worry about who they're loyal to and whether they can kind of be well-behaved, well-mannered, if you will. Next up, we've got spill the tea. So I do want you to know here that there's, there's going to be a lot of gossip that surrounds your love life and other people's love life during the month of June. Maybe it is just that wedding season, birthday season month where you're meeting up with a lot of different people who are just like pro gossipers. Okay, this could be extended family, aunties just overall people who love to spill the tea and it is important for you to simply drink the tea, the tea don't spill the tea especially not spilling your tea this is not the time for you to do so especially as things are going so well because sometimes when you've got an awesome thing going for you romantically the more you share the more you kind of open up for the possibility for someone to come in and kind of mess with the balance, right? We've got the 1090 ratio and here you're being reminded that life really is just 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it, my beautiful souls of group four and choosing to react in a way that is calm, that is mature, even if you are betrayed, will leave you feeling proud of yourself even years later at how gracefully that you handled situations. So I do see see here within spill the tea and the 1090 ratio that even though there are a lot of dramas that are happening around you during the month of june so things coming out about people's boyfriends and girlfriends cheating looking in other places for attention and affection and maybe even being deceitful about finances about just important things that one should not betray a partner with i can definitely see that you're remaining pretty quiet during these meetings and as people are telling you these stories and you're just kind of thinking to yourself, look, life really is just 10% of what happens to you, but now what are you going to make of this? Because there will be a lot of tea spilling, but not much acting. So friends and family who are spilling a lot of tea, but then they're still staying in the same situation and asking themselves, why they're so unlucky or why this continues to happen to them but they're not acting they're not doing anything about it and i see here within rehabilitation that for you my souls of group four you actually find that it's almost like very relaxing to just listen and not engage and also kind of not give too much unsolicited advice to anyone so you don't get involved the month of june is really a month where we're now coming back to your love life and you can just kind of enjoy it you can feel like you're in a safe space you can feel held protected taken care of and as mentioned earlier like you have hit your target here with the lucky number 13. remind yourself of the fact that not only is your symbol the dog as well as the white as well as gray feathers but we will also move into some lucky numbers for you group four so we've got the lucky number 10 for you the 10th of the month of june is going to be a very special day 
I'll just put your die right here. And then we also have the number two that is of importance for you, group number four during the month of June. So 10 and two are your special numbers for this upcoming month when it comes to love. And I also just want to see what sign is relevant Ooh, okay here we've got pisces for you the very sensitive and emotional water sign who is known to be very sympathetic very responsive and super psychic too so these are the favorable numbers as well as signs and placements for you during the month of june but let's move a little further into your reading I want to use my newly released Dark Heart Tarot deck because it is just so beautiful and I'm so proud of this beautiful new creation. So let's see what we've got. Furthermore, if you'd like to receive your June 2023 horoscope, which is based on your zodiac sign, definitely make sure that you check out the link in the description box. That video is up on my channel as well. So tune into that right after you've received your love reading for a full June prediction. So here within the Eight of Blades, I want you to know that feeling confined and feeling kind of like bound in chains, that is a choice I can see in connectivity to the 1090 ratio. If you're not completely satisfied with where your love life is, know that the month of June is going to be an amazing month for you to not only make a wish for something new, but to act on it and to free yourself from what you're not happy with. The page of cups here shows me that you have been loyal for too long to people who haven't shown you the same loyalty back. And it is definitely the perfect time for you during the month of June to move on or kind of keep some distance to those relationships. It could even be parents that you have been very loyal towards who never want to talk about the trauma that they have caused you, who never want to talk about the things that they maybe just messed up as you were growing up. And I can see here within the Page of Cups that it's time to have your cup overflowing positively rather than constantly trying to fill everyone else's cup before yours now the king of pentacles shows me here that we've got an earth sign that's kind of coming towards you during the month of june who's interested in you this is a capricorn taurus or a virgo person they are most likely older than you as well as more experienced and when it comes to business they have a little bit of mischievous and crooky ways, if you will. They are a shrewd business person, not that they are doing anything that goes against the law. However, they are not leaving anything on the table and they've got their life together. And now they're just looking for their future spouse, for someone to settle down with. They're looking for someone to start a new beginning with. I see that here in the Fool. The Fool is the absolute first card of the tarot, and it shows that you are just kind of beginning your journey. You're still excited, everything is fresh and new, and all you've really got to count on is your intuition, which we have represented here in the dog, which is a symbol of your instinct. And we already spoke about the dog here within your reading. This showing up twice definitely shows us that dogs are meaningful symbols and signs during the month of June. So look out for them out in public, as well as in a symbolic sense in your life. Remember here within rehabilitation, we've got this wolf-like creature where the descendants of wolves are dogs. So our canine companions play an important role during the month of June and especially if you're single this is up to you to decide if you want to get into this new romantic situation during the month of June that may actually end up being a keeper. This may actually end up leading to something bigger such as marriage, family, children, settling down in the long term and I want you to know if you are already in a committed relationship the king of Pentacles and the Fools shows taking matters into your own hands, whether it be finally upgrading yourself financially in the sense of creating more stability, like investing in stocks with a romantic partner, investing in a home, a new vehicle, just making the plan for the next couple years that you have financially. That's one thing that I can see coming for you here for the month of June. So all of my beautiful souls here of group number four, I would like to thank you for spending this divine time and space with me and leave a little dog emoji below in the comment section 
section as this is your June love life symbol to let me and others know that you chose group four and that you watched your reading all the way up until the end. Furthermore, know that the link to my dark heart tarot deck that I just released is below in the description box. Make sure that you check it out if you want to add this beautiful deck to your collection. It comes with a guidebook which I have written. So this is a great beginner's deck as well as you can read all of the meanings and learn the tarot with this deck if you choose to do so. I'd also just like to give a quick shout out to all of my beautiful patrons. I appreciate you all more than I can even put in words and all of my gorgeous souls of group number four. I'm sending you so much love, prosperity, unlimited hugs, and I can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings.